This is Luann. Today's theme is shapes. Shapes are everywhere, from the pancakes at breakfast to the yield sign at the end of the street. Knowing and being able to identify shapes helps with letter recognition. Letters are very similar to shapes. The letter V is a triangle missing a side. The letter O is just a circle. Being able to tell the difference between a square and a triangle will help your preschooler recognize the difference differences between different letters. The same works for numbers. Drawing shapes and working on the lines and angles needed to draw triangles and rectangles will help them later on when they are learning to write their numbers. Start at the very beginning by showing them pictures of the shapes, circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, and so on. Talk about the different characteristics of the shapes. A circle is round. A square has four equal sides. A rectangle has two short sides and two longer sides. A triangle has three sides. Sometimes the sides are the same length, sometimes they're not. Once they know their shapes, they will see them everywhere. Go on a shape hunt and look for rectangle shapes in your home, like the doors, windows, books, bookshelves. Do the same with circles, triangles, and other shapes. Take the fun outside and look for shapes out there as well. Look for circles, like the tires on the car and their bicycles or the dog's water dish. Go from 2D to 3D by creating a shapescape. They can collect three-dimensional objects like cans, cartons, boxes, paper towel rolls, and balls. You could use the cylinders or the paper towel rolls as the tree trunks. You can use the spheres or the balls as the top of the tree. And you can use the rectangle prisms as the building. Once they identify the flat, or two-dimensional shapes or, and solid or three-dimensional shapes, they're ready to create and take apart shapes. You can use rounded toothpicks, straws, craft sticks, whatever to make your shapes. You can make a triangle and count the sides. We know that a triangle has three sides. And then ask them how they can make a square. And remembering that a square has four equal sides. Or you could make a square using your craft sticks, our four equal sided square, and then ask them how they can make a rectangle. And you can remind them, or maybe they will remember, that a rectangle has two short sides and two longer sides. So there's our two short sides. And here is our rectangle. And you can also go 3D by using some Play-Doh. Take, take a bit of Play-Doh, roll it around in your hands. And this is a good experience for them too, to be able to do that. And you have your sphere. You can pinch some Play-Doh together and make other shapes like this cube. cube. Or you could take a piece of Play-Doh Roll it on the table and then squish both ends. And now you have a cylinder. One more activity you could do is to make a shape collage. And all you'll need for that is some paper shapes and some glue. And you can let the fun begin. Thanks for joining me today.